All right, I've got to have my Amish hat on to tell y'all this story about when I went to Amish country. I am obsessed with those people. So I went into a store and I was talking to a, a wonderful Amish woman and she could tell I was a tourist and I was, so I was asking her for recommendations. And she said, well, it depends on what kind of things you want to do. And I said, well, Ideally, I really want to go to an event with like a lot of Amish people where I can meet them and try to find someone that is willing to be like maybe a pen pal with an Englisher like me. Do you know of anything or anyone like that? And she said, um, I don't think so. <laughs> so it was a little uncomfortable and embarrassing for me, but the point I wanna make here is good for her. Good for her for being honest. If she was a people pleaser, she might feel pressure to be like, huh, okay, well, you can have my address, <laughs> which you should never give a stranger your address, right? But I was just hoping. Anyway, so uh, people pleasers. When we get into people pleasing mode, we make it mean that their wants and desires are worth more or are more important than our own. We put someone else above us, which then makes us resent them. And it also makes us resent ourselves because we are not having the, the control or the confidence to stick up for ourselves and say like, I really don't wanna do that. When we people please, we become a liar. We lie and we say, yeah, I wanna do that. Even though inside we're like, no, I don't wanna do that. So I encourage us all to be honest. We don't have to be ugly about it when we're being honest, just like she was very kind. She could have scoffed and been like, uh, yeah, right, nobody wants to be a pen pal with an Englisher. No, but she was very kind about it. You can be honest and you can be kind and we don't have to people please and end up resenting ourselves and resenting other people.